Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host Jake. Today I'm joined by Brag from Bragio. Hello. And Ben from Nolan TCG. Hello. How was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh? Let's start with Ben. Um, so I borrowed Pearly off Bragg. You did? Yeah. And I didn't have the whole extra deck. So I you was didn't. just like, let's just make it work. Made it work enough. I went X1. For, what are you missing? Uh, like a couple of rank ones and some link climb things. And I was like, I'll make it work. It worked. But <laughs> like... Wait, where'd you go? Uh, I went... X1. Yeah. So I was like, this, this was fine and dandy enough. Um, very, very much respectful for a deck that's incomplete. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep messing around with the deck. I'll probably like try and pick up like some stuff extra for it, but we'll see how it goes. It's gone fine. Today I decided to play a weird gold pride punk slap together shenanigans. It was cute. Did it go as well as incomplete pearly? Uh, I got rolled four times. So <laughs> Two of those about me. <laughs> yeah. It, it, it was pretty rough. It was pretty rough. <laughs> Gotta play my draw phase. But if you don't get the draw phase they, one... No, they playing, can't do anything in the draw phase. Today. Yeah, if you can't play in the draw phase... No, I couldn't do you shit. Can't. You can't I was play. like, ah, oh, yes, cool, draw. Okay, next. Have I cut it yet? I should probably put it back in. What? Draw. Draw. Yeah, it's good. It seems kind of free, especially if you're playing it in pearly, because if you're playing where after thou, you just add droll to your hand. You can search a droll. <laughs> or... Oh. Yes. Like, you I could search a, de- a card that, like, you normal summon in the deck, but that's boring. <laughs> yeah, boring. <laughs> also, is where after thou once per turn? I don't know if it is. Yeah, surely it is. I don't think it is. Surely it is. I don't think it is. Surely it is. I don't think it is. It's a lot of life points. I have to remember Surely back to the brief time where I was playing it in... Um... I've never actually played it in a tournament. I've had it in decks and I've always cut it. It is not once per turn. Yeah, it's just... So you can add a Surely dog it is. and yeah, a so doll. You can draw two. Also, um, in news that I'll announce later, I have some uh, news about the cats. Oh. Yes. Um, but anyway, yeah. Anything else going on in your week? I'm done. You're done. Brag. Um, I'm da, 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 mm. Walking around, trying to catch Squirtle, we'll do that. Also, like, four hours sleep is not great. You only slept four hours? Yeah. Just, yeah. Sure, slept longer. <laughs> Damn. That's some... <laughs> I've solved that's insomnia. Some <laughs> cutting edge <laughs> advice right there. Here's the problem with Pogo, is it does cut into naps. There should, you should have had a nap time today. I should have had a nap. It's alright. Pokemon Go Sleep will be out soon. Yeah, actually. Oh, I'm going to get We can so do many. both of them. I'm going to suck so much at it. Like, <laughs> time to community day and nap. Yeah. Where they're like, oh, seven hours is what gets you the normal Pokemon. Like, what's up? You're going to be catching so many Weedles. <laughs> oh, I can't do that. How do you reach seven? Uh, Speaking of seven, I've been playing that Yu-Gi-Oh! Seven Switch game. Disgusting. Like, look, Rush Jewels. I'm kind of keen to look into it in Japan. We're gonna buy structure decks. Yeah, I reckon. Okay. But yeah, it's very much, and also like, um, Ben was watching this weird Konami video, like yes. shit that Konami does in that whoever that video was. Cool. Um, and I'm like, oh wait, I like those old Konami Yu-Gi-Oh! games. They were kind of trash. But it was still the game to they a point. Were wonderful. Worldwide Edition 2003? Yeah, I was like, looking Best at it. Game. I'm like, wait, I could just play that. And then I realized that Rush Jewels basically does the same shit. So I'll just roll with that. And it's gone alright. There's some pretty cool stuff in there. And learning the new games and a good value. Yeah. Proposition. Anything in the actual game? Fuck no. What? <laughs> yeah, it's. I've got to do Pokemon shit before um, Worlds Yeah mm. So I'm going to play in that True We're less than a month to Japan We're almost yeah. there We're almost there Both worlds Both worlds All of the worlds We just got to qualify no. mm-hmm. Yeah I'll, Would I ever want to qualify for worlds? No really? Yes? No I mean, Too much pressure You can sell your spectator passes for quite a lot of money 
I want to qualify for Worlds in Pokemon. That's why this whole thing is happening. But fucking Yu-Gi-Oh, no. There's too few invitations. Yeah. Too few invitations, not nearly as much value in getting there as in other games. And also, it, as Lachlan said earlier in his little rant today, excusing how to be shit, which I also agree with, it's so hard. Mm. Like, those, those people that got in there in the end, like looking at some of the people that have qualified for Worlds already, they're good. They're real good. Well done to them. How about you? Will you be next? <laughs> Probably not the way that I play decks. Um, so, uh, my week, uh, still on the Dogmatica uh, with the duality. The duality doesn't come up as much as I'd like. Um, I need a way to search a quick play spell that's not related to any archetype. So, if you can find a way, let me know. I wish um, there was a terrifying for quick play spells that they just banned. Hmm? I mean, if, they had, if we had a way to search quick play spells, this, this whole game changes, right? Yep. A lot of stuff gets limited, or Imagine they just go. That was a terrible mistake. We're going to ban this now. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, Bruce. still on that. Um, we do have uh, like I'm probably going to film a profile just so you can see what the deck was about. Uh, but after that, uh, and for next Sunday when we do our tag duels, I will have a new deck going. A new deck. Oh, tag duels. It's new to me as well. I haven't played this deck before. Oh, yeah, sure. Um, pick up some stuff. That's dangerous. So, yeah, looking forward to uh, debuting that for our tag thing. I'm also looking forward to tag because, like, although it's not the most amazing format, it's just something different, something fun. Gets people Who involved, are you with? ideally. Me? Yeah. I'm team with Hayden. He's with Haydog. That's it. Yep. You're we're going to be the... the family that we're not sure. Yeah, we'll figure that out. Our team name is called the Gungans of the Planet Dabu. Fucking <laughs> 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 asshole. <laughs> There's no way of saying that without making it sound stupid. Debut. No, it's stupid. Okay. St sure. Stupid. 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 Dumb. It's debut yeah, or debut, <laughs> not debut. It can be either, Ben. Either doesn't mean three. It can be any. Thriver. Yeah, Thriver. Anyway. Uh, so yeah, looking forward to uh, next Sunday. That'll be fun. Um, I feel like there's something on next Sunday as well, but I can't remember what it was. Oh, I've agreed Yeah, next I Sunday. also feel like I've forgotten something that was next Saturday. Oh, well. we'll I know what I'm doing next Saturday. Concerning. Um... Anyway, I, I pose I posed a question to Jake earlier today, and oh. I I want to know what the what, what the viewers' was. thoughts are. Jake has gotten worse at Yu-Gi-Oh since MBT became a thing. There is a direct correlation between Jake getting worse at Yu-Gi-Oh and MBT becoming more popular. I think that's a correlation, not a causation. It is not because of MBT that I've gotten worse. It's just I've started caring less and less about doing well in the game. How much MBT content do you consume on a weekly basis? One video. Mm, well, that's, that's too many. Oh. And even then, it's not really it's not really MBT's content. It's Steve's Eve. It's just MBT's on it. Jake, you didn't make that much better. Steve's Eve's fine. Again, I'm not it's watching fine. these people for their quality but of MBT's gameplay. The... It's literally just the content that they do, like the master roulette and the the magical hats in particular. And it's just because I found the inter. We get sued. What even was that? Fucking Yu Gi Oh organization. Why is yeah. the Yu organization playing ads? Oh, it always oh, plays ads. It's just they're it's very rarely like audio. coming up with audio. Yeah, I'm pretty um, sure my phone's cursed now. I can't even remember the point I was on now. Sorry. Um, yeah, it was literally just the one video that I clicked on was just an interesting question of whether the side deck should still be a thing. Yes, and it had still be a thing. It had some interesting back and forth, and I can see both sides. No, there's sides no back and forth. That, well, how about you shut up? No. Anyway, uh, moving on to some news. We start with Master well, Duel. It completely invalidates so many cards. It completely invalidates the game of Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, best die roll. Oh, I still... made a go first deck. I won die roll. Yay! No, no, but like, is it really die saying roll? Eliminate best of die three. Roll. They're just eliminating. The sideboard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you win die roll. You get to go first game one and game three. You will, you win. You sure? But it, without roll. the sideboard, you would be changing the way your deck is built. It would make trap cards irrelevant, Good. unplayable. Fuck them. Uh, oh my god. Um, 
Man's like one third I, of the open. card game. Fuck it right off. If they get to play skill drain, I'll get to wish their non-existence. That popped my mic. Good. <laughs> um, surely the the good players still win though, right? Even without the die roll? Or is it just... No. Do you think it, Other it's, games it do was, this. Other games have a lack of sideboard and it's still the better players that end up winning overall. Or maybe not. Remember when Digimon started and didn't have a sideboard and every single person bitched and moaned about how the game was just it's die still, roll auto it win? It still doesn't have a sideboard. It does for certain events, I think. They change it almost constantly. Fucking Bandai is so useless. A little bit, <laughs> yeah. But anyway, we're getting off track here. Right. Um, it was right. just an interesting question oh, yeah. that I thought I'd read through. Again, I saw both sides of the argument. I still haven't landed on one side or the other. I like both ideas. Anyway, hey, moving like on to some news. We start with Master Duel. Um, they uh, were so happy with the recent ban list that they brought in another. Uh, we have uh, Silver, oh, Warlord yeah, of Dark World, getting banned. We're getting Dark Worlds in the next set. Correct. Uh, and Branded Expulsion. Because we're getting branded in the next set. We're getting them in almost every set for another year and a half. It mastered all the way things are going. But I think it's just with um, the current bestials and stuff like that, it just made Branded a little bit more powerful and they didn't want them doing expulsion on top of that. So, yeah. It's way early for Dark Corridor, right? For Master Jewel? What? If they're banning Silver? No, they're getting the Structure Deck. Yeah, the Structure Deck's coming. Yep. Don't we already have everything from that? Do we? Yeah, yeah, we, we we, yeah we've got um, fucking that big grapher. I don't think we do. Don't we? I could swear I had it. No, people would have put it in Tourettelin. I was going to yeah, say, yeah, I th- yeah, it's I could not swear in it, was in tier. it hasn't hit tier yet. Oh, well, there we go. If it's not in tier, it's not in the game. I'm like, what the hell? Speaking uh, of Dark Corridor, uh, that is the one and only card we know from the new set that is a secret rare. But where do we know it from? Italian Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, that's the problem. We can't do that. No, I saw it in other places first. And then... Okay, we still can't do that. Why can't we do that? Because it's not a leak that they have given. If they Good work, given... Italian New Year. I approve you posting six hours after I saw it somewhere else. Anywho, we'll find out about the ramifications of that later. Uh, also in Master Duel, they've Roll added pair, the Jake. next... Who cares if you get banned? I do. We'll just make, another, do. We'll just make another feed. Who cares? <laughs> if we get banned... This, we've been through one feed, we'll go through another. If we get banned, I'll have so much money. <laughs> that is true. It would free up a lot of my income. Yeah. Uh, anyway. I'd be able um, to sell so much shit. They have added a new solo mode. It is the worst oh. one to date. Uh, it is Allies of Justice. <laughs> it's so bad. Look, do they play in the get to summon Casaster. They tell the story though, yeah? Yeah, 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 they tell the story. I guess that's the point. The worms hit the planet, the tribes tried to do their thing on their own, they all sucked, and then mm-hmm. they came together, made weapons that were really good at the start, but then the worms adapted, so they ended up sucking more, and then Catasta, much like in the TCG, was the only good one, the one that stayed around. Mm. And then Trish came along and was like, I'm a banished one that's from your hand until field later. From the grave. See, I don't mind them telling the story, but maybe they should have told it in all... Have it be all of them, right? Like, well, yeah, they mentioned all the four yeah. separate tribes, but yeah, they but only gave sub- you the Ally of Justice cards. Like, if you're gonna, if you're gonna roll them out, hmm? nothing. If you're Just gonna, talking to the viewers. If you're gonna roll out all the hidden arsenal parts, one, I'm two, three. too loud. That's <laughs> <laughs> all right. We can now mix it. The mic. Yeah, 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 but if he's popping the mic every single line he says, <laughs> that's not every line. Although it is quite loud. I'm watching that line. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll find out soon if I'm too loud. And then my mic, instead of being put here, will be put over there. <laughs> you got a whole rest of the cord here you could have used. Oh, don't, well, don't, don't mess with dangling. Oh, yeah, yeah don't be sake. dangling then. All the anyway, uh, we also have uh, the full text of the Brianac retrain that they announced for V-Jump a little while ago. Uh, so, uh, basically, uh, it discards one, then targets one on field and returns it to hand upon Synchro Summon and being Special Summon from the Graveyard. Uh, hard once per turn on both of those. Yes. So, yeah, potentially up to two bounces per turn. Well, Not amazing, but it does have generic material, which is something it does have over the original Breed deck from memory. Does it miss timing like the other retrain? Uh, no, it is an if. Oh! Yeah, both effects are ifs. So that was a good card, not the other one. Yeah. 
Um, no, the other one's generic materials. I thought yes. it was water. Maybe I'm thinking of the No, the other one's generic, yeah. Am I thinking yeah. of the tiger? Yeah, uh, yeah. I don't know what they did to the tiger. They did something weird. The DeLorean? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Debut in the DeLorean. Debut. Fuck all y'all. Anyway, uh, oh, why did I have that open? I don't want that. Um, the just sketch? One? No. Uh, we have some upcoming support uh, coming from Age of Overlords. Um, I'll start with probably the least impactful one. Uh, it's pretty have, impactful. It's not. It's Shino Birds. Mm. Uh, they get two level four rituals. Uh, they call themselves the big ones while they're on the board. Same thing, they bounce themselves back. And then when they're banished, they special summon themselves. But I don't know how in that deck you banish them because I don't know the deck well enough. Uh, but they do get a field spell that lets them ritual summon, which is also quite good. Exactly. It's impactful support for that deck. It's, it's good for them. Um, it also um, it is good for them. sets a trap card uh, that was apparently released for them in um, like two sets ago. Raging that, Tempest. No. That's when they got the original start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apparently two sets ago there was a trap card that was released as part of support for them that... I've never seen or read up until I saw it on this thing. I wish I could travel back in time to yeah, the okay, round yeah. one of some randomized locals it's fine. when mm. a zoo player is beating the shit out of a Sheena bed player and I just go, it's okay, buddy. In 2023, you're going to get support. <laughs> and zoo will be almost dead. Well, you could yes. have told that Sheena bed player not to show off and destroy my scraps. <laughs> oh, no. Not the scraps. <laughs> Uh, but more impactful than that, um, a little while back, you may recall, we got a generic spell that was announced in uh, Duelist Nexus uh, that just puts a monster into the spell and trap zone. Uh, apparently, that's two whole ass archetypes that's coming out, uh, which is the Snake Eyes archetype or I Snake Eye. I thought the other one was a Gorgon Eye. Hmm? I thought the other, I thought that other card was a Gorgon Eye. Yeah, yeah, but it's the start bit. It's kind of like World Legacy, the start bit. The start bit connects them. The word I? No. Sure. Anywho, uh, so yeah, the Snake Eyes archetype, they get uh, three level ones and a level eight to start. The level ones uh, send themselves in another thing to start doing some stuff. Um, importantly with that, one of them is a searcher for Divin Carnet. The cock? Yeah, that one. Okay. Uh, so yeah, can search that, which is kind of cool. Are they part of the same lore? No. Why not? You love that. I do. But we'll get up. on to that shortly. Much like um, law, just make it up, Jake. You can make it work. <laughs> uh, so, um, they also get a field spell, um, which uh, lets you put one of the snake eyes from your hand deck or graveyard into the continuous spell area. Um, so, does this have a way of adding that spell card that we're getting? This doesn't, no. I hate it. Okay. What uh, does all the snakes lead to, though? Snake rain. Oh, I get the big one. Right, well, yeah, no, so they're pyrotypes, so I you can't in the, snake rain them to the okay, graveyard. Hands in the big one. Okay. Uh, your opponent. This the is why they got is the pyro rotor. The pyro rotor was for this deck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, again, is in my list of things to talk about. Um, yeah, and then they get uh, a field spell, a quick play, no, a normal spell, and a trap as well as the other normal spell that we announced a little while ago. Um, but there is another archetype that's connected to this, uh, which is uh, the Diablo Star, the Dark Witch. Uh, it's a level seven spellcaster, and it lets her, like, she searches the spells and traps related to that archetype. So it seems a little lore line ish, so we could get some more story about that later, Ben. You know what, Jake? I really respect that. I really respect that maybe they'll finally fucking stop doing Albaz lore. <laughs> they did stop doing Albaz lore. They did? For now. <laughs> There's always time later. Is it a reptile? Uh, so yeah, big one? in relation to her, she gets a quick play, a normal spell, and a trap. Um, yeah, it's fine. Um, she kind of just brings herself back for free as well at some point and searches on normal or special summon. The big one, being a dragon, is a kick to the dick, considering it's a snake eyes. How dare you? And it's dragon with eyes of snake. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Snake, snake eyes. What color is it? <laughs> uh, purpley, darky, purple. And purple. Snake eyes, purpley. No, darky. interplanetary, purpley, thorny yeah, dragon. Yeah, yeah, there we go. <laughs> well, yeah, there's a couple of forms. Yeah, yeah couple. damn. I, I, they're kind of cool. 
Yeah, I, I rate it. I think it'll be a kind of cool archetype. I just like that, like, at first it was just a really good generic spell, and now it's, like, important archetypal. So as much as it might have been expensive... So why is it important? You haven't explained that part. Well, how does it interlink so, and why is that important? So their cards interact with the stuff that's in the spell and trap zone as monsters. So okay. it can put stuff into the spell and trap zones and then summon those out to their own board. So you, 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 you move put your and opponent's then you stuff in and then you steal it. Yeah. Why would you not just activate change of heart? Because it's a one. Why would you just activate this is, monster this is control? Because you have to do that on normal summoned monsters. This or is, monsters that can be normal summoned, you have to pay 800 life points and you cannot uh, tribute or attack with them. And quick play. Okay. Yeah, it's also a quick effect. So stop trying to shit on the archetypes. No, I, I, I get it. It's just you're playing two cards to do what one card does. But this does it better. Activate talents. Take control. Yeah, you can do both. Both are bad. Both are bad. <laughs> Snake eyes. Uh, we also get another piece of support for the Chimera archetype. It's not particularly well, good. Yeah. Um, it is a generic fusion, kind of. Um, it needs either one beast, one fiend, or one illusion as its types, like two of those. Um, and yeah, it foolishes... If well, illusions ever get good, we can super poly them. Exactly, yeah. It is interesting that like they're like, oh, look at this cool new archetype. Also, we're going to give it a super poly target almost immediately. <laughs> oh, we're going to give it a, a $5 secret rare immediately. That too. Um, if it hasn't already happened, when do we get illusion version of spell um, Dark Vision Girl? Oh. Why do you reckon she'd get an illusion specifically? Because we had this conversation before that they're going to do illusions of Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl. Yeah. And so how, like, what was, what, you what, what's yeah, our, yeah, yeah what's Magician our over-under? Soul should have been an illusion type. Yeah. What's our over-under on her, like, them making a version of it? I was um, been thinking of it because they get, like, Sevens has a version. It needs to be reprintable in next year's Mega 10. Yeah, that's fast. Oh, I know. That would mean it has to come out this year. Yeah. Maybe it gets released in next year's Mega 10. Maybe. First promo. So that'll be December then. Illusion promo, first uh, one. Yep, yeah, December. Dark Magician Girl. Yeah. V-Jump promo? Jump December. There's December like weird magazines. Done. That's the over under. What are you going? After I, December or before? I literally don't care. 50 Moving 50 on. then. The name, exact, it, name it. He's going the exact date. December. Do not Christmas. <laughs> You've got after Christmas. I've got before Christmas. He's got, got Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> yeah. I don't have anything. Moving right along. Uh, Nomorelia get in the gate in the form of a continuous trap. Oh, if only they could use rank 10s. Uh, so, uh, if you control a Nemorelia, uh, banish up to three cards from your extra deck face down, uh, except Dreamy Nemorelia, to activate either add a card uh, Nemorelia from deck to hand, uh, half the damage you take for the turn, or send a level 10 beast you control to the graveyard and negate the effects of all face-up monsters your opponent currently oh. controls until the end of the turn. Okay, at least it says all and it's not one. I was like, fuck yeah, me, you're going so trading, minus. Trading a level 10 to be like, Effect <laughs> uh, I thought you were going to stop and I was like this is going to suck oh look it gives him something it's fine sure well up until this point it was literally just an OTK deck like that's all you could do with it so at least if someone goes haha I'm making you go first you can be like I have this now I think you're using the word deck pretty loosely <laughs> <laughs> look it's fine it's just Grand Mardu with cake <laughs> five cards no <laughs> behave yourself <laughs> no, they're getting a whole. You? They're getting like another three in the set next, and then oh, this yeah. one in the one after. I'm happy for them. Uh, is everything okay with you? I want to go to bed. <laughs> um, we didn't announce it when I was at Oceanics because uh, I didn't think it was good enough. Um, I still don't, but we're going to talk about it anyway. Angel Ring um, negates the first uh, spell that your opponent plays, and uh, you great. can. Uh, send it to the grave. Oh, yeah. Destroy it. Gain 500. And then your opponent cannot target the monster it was equipped to with card effects. That sounds awesome. How dare you? This is just... It's just left hand. Yes. But, but you don't have to control the spell. That's an equip spell, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah, so um, you can use it with um, the Makanko lady. She can go... Oh, that's why he likes it. Okay. You can also search it off Power Tool Dragon. I really should think of it. Or equip it from deck with the race. Oh, shit. I've got to pull. Yes. And I'm sure there's a power tool list of that. Uh, as I, don't alluded, get that I don't want to go down that road. <laughs> power um, tool, McGunker. You could. Oh, with the oh, 
That no, that's hundred percent a thing. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I don't, like, wa- I don't get, want to be that. No, you look. get the baby power tool soon. Mm. Yeah. So you do that, and then you have a free crystal wing. Yeah. And then you don't have so room free. in your deck to play hand traps. No, I've got crystal wing. Kaijus. The crystal wing is not unaffected by card effects. So the, here's the thing about crystal wing. Uh, when it's not being made with Wind Witches, it's bad. Yeah, it is a little bit shit when it, it's not indestructible. Uh, t- to this day, whenever people fucking summon it, I'm like, oh, fuck yeah, I can't, I can't out that. So I'm that like, power, oh, wait, what? Does the power tool stuff lock you to that shit? Oh, no. Lock you to dragons? Not at all. Wait, if you can climb a crystal wing. It doesn't, you, it doesn't lock you into shit. Couldn't you climb a baron like, then? Why don't you play the Wind Witch no. engine? The only thing it does lock you into is like when you use it from hand, oh. it has to be for like one of the Sino dragons. Okay. Why don't you play Wind Witches and then you summon your seven that you summon as power tool, you get the Makanko card, and then you make the untarget the unaffected crystal wing. Yeah. There you go. Deck building on the fly. Uh so we do get another piece Still of fire support wing. coming out in Age of Overlord. Uh uh basically target a fire, discard, special summon it. Um and then you can banish it from graveyard to target three fires, shuffle them back, and draw a card. I think Konami officers, when they were like, it's the 25th anniversary of the game, guys. What do we need to do? That one guy who for the past 25 years has been like, I need fire support, please. They finally <laughs> looked at him and went, you know what? But okay. wait, 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 wait. That can't be possible because Josh hasn't been alive for 25 years. No, no, no. That, they... wasn't, that wasn't fire, fire. That was Cybers. Yeah. Yeah, but you know full well he will play this. Well, it's pyro. There's a pyro searcher. The pyro searcher is what matters. The pyro searcher is really good too. Yeah, that that guy in the corner of the room was like, I need, I need some support, please. And yeah. they're like, Oh, yeah, okay, sure. I, Have a rotor. Yeah, there's so much fire shit this year. So much. So much. So much. When does this rescue ace get a pyro card? Oh, like, when's the villains of that archetype? Yeah, yeah, that should be a kaiju. <laughs> Give me more the, lore. The villains of that archetype is just a fire. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So give them like a different give, lava golem. Give them a sphere mode. Yeah. Yeah. Like a bigger. That's a pyro sphere mode. This is called just fire. One, it's just one of those helicopters that dumps water. No, 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 no. It's just a picture of a fire. It's yeah. just ukazi. You just go, oh, your stuff's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> Gas. <laughs> uh, and then, uh, for the last bit of news before I move on to questions, uh, we have the uh, lore stories that have all dropped in the. Um, I can't remember what the books are actually called. I, I'm gonna head out. Um, shit, what are they called? I can't remember what they're called. But anyway, um, um, a bunch um, of them have been translated. Nursery that- rhymes. No. Uh, a bunch of them have been translated into Damn. English and put onto YGORG. Um, we do have some content that would be coming up between Bragg and I in relation to that. Uh, so everyone but, everyone but Ben, stay tuned. Um, but for anyone that is still here, I will now start reading them uh, word for word. <coughs> uh, I was hoping for more of a reaction, but he already reacted. It's fine. The joke didn't land, which is pretty we much half of the course. Should I read the Makanko one later, or are we going to do a video on it? No, we can do a video. You can do Makanko and I'll yeah. do other yep. things. Yeah. We, we need a fireplace. We do need a fireplace. Yeah. We can green screen it. Yeah. We, or we can just light something on fire. <laughs> you're a fucking pyromaniac, which is bad because you're playing rescue. Has he ever suggested no. this before? No, let's... What, setting fires to things? Yeah. yeah. On the pod? No. On the pod? Not that I can just think Just go of. to a campground. When this fucking thing turns up and this stuff's just... That's a sign. There we go. Burn it. Let's do it. Uh, it's the Dark Rebellion in Ben. Yeah. He wants to set fires. I'm from the, uh, the parallel universe thing with the, the X's dimension. He's lollipops fucking right away. Um, just go to a campground and light a fire and then just sit down and read them. You could just record all of them in one night. You could do little spooky ghost stories. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, let's do it by a fire. The thing is, I have to be outside. Yeah, we can be rugged up. Well, we could do it in summer. I don't. I don't want. I don't wait that long though. Yeah, it's gonna. I'm gonna, take, I'm gonna, it's gonna take long enough to read through them. Again, alone I probably would have forgotten it by December. <laughs> Um, so, uh, for questions this week, um, oh, uh, if you weren't aware, we do have a Discord link will be in the description below. Feel free to jump in, say hi, and ask us questions. Uh, this week, just one question. Just one. one Everyone's too tired question. from Oceanics to ask us questions. Uh, this question comes to us from Six Art Six. 
Uh, what was the first cheat code that you used in a computer console game? Ah, oh, it's probably something for Grand Theft Auto Three. Yeah, there was a lot of that. Up, up, down, down. I'm putting in my tank. I know. Uh, wait, no. Do does the putting in code cards count for the Yu-Gi-Oh games? Well, if you cheated to get the codes, I suppose. What? No, no. You used. I mean, oh wait. If you looked them up on Google. Yeah. No, Google didn't exist back then. I, I definitely got some mine on Google. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm fairly sure. Yeah, I like fucking used my dial-up internet to download a spreadsheet of all the cards. Yeah. Took like five years just to get one card. Why you cool? I got flame sword salamandra. What do you mean it's shit? <laughs> There's heaps that were missing codes as well, my fuck. Yeah. The 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 old. This is I'm whenever I talk about stuff like this, I exclusively mean Yu Gi Oh 2003 Worldwide Edition. And I remember the rumours when you know, I was little, I was like, oh, you know you can get the Egyptian gods in this game. Oh. Uh, I was like, <laughs> can you? It was the one after, wasn't it? I think it was two after. And yeah, actually, and they were good effects as well. I liked those ones. I was, I was like, oh, I'm going to get the Egyptian gods. No. <laughs> no. It's like Mew under the no. truck. Ah. Oh. If you use strength on the truck, you appears. Trust me. Mew got... Mew, the first Pokemon, the uh, origin of all DNA, was run over by a produce delivery truck. Yeah. <laughs> On the docks. Just... <laughs> oh, God. Ah. Um, the first game I can remember doing cheat codes for was Spyro 2 Gateway to Glimmer. And they weren't good cheat codes. Oh, sorry. I'll take that back. One of them was a good cheat code because I unlocked all the abilities so you could, like, swim and glide and all that stuff without having to do, like... Because you just had to pay a dude a bunch of gems to unlock them. So you didn't have to pay that dude anymore. Like, and it didn't matter anyway, because at the end of the game, he just you just get all the gems back from him anyway. Oh. So, it yeah, the whole cheat was a pointless endeavour, but it just meant that you got to do stuff a lot sooner. You didn't have to, like, go back to levels. Yeah. Um, but then the rest of the cheats were like, oh, you can change Spyro's colour, or you can make his head massive. Um, like, just really dumb cheats. Um... And then the other one I was thinking of was in Sims. I think it was like Rosebud something something to multiply your money. Yeah, yeah. Rosebud was in um, yeah, that. And there was another one as well. Not an old RuneScape knockoff. In Medieval Turtle War, hit the old. Did you say Medieval Turtle War? <laughs> medieval Turtle War. <laughs> turtle. You never or heard the of table. these games before. Turtle. Okay, I thought you said turtle. Those games are great, Jake. Don't insult these games. <laughs> Squirrels on the brain. You used to <laughs> hit the little button above tab and then open up your command menu, type in add money, add some money. That was the cheat code. Add money. Well, you just go into the command console and then you just type in add money underscore and the amount you wanted. You no one's ever thought to try that on our bank app. Let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, on the sevens one, you can't, you can't change your deck until you complete the game once, like through the story mode. You yeah. have to you have to use recipes based off people you've versed. Yep. Bruh. Unless if you go into some random corner of the student dorm and enter Konami code, <laughs> and then you unlock it. Yeah, that's so dumb. I like. Thank God I like caught this, or else oh my god I wouldn't. I never would have thought of it. Cons- but all things considered, probably should have. Yeah. Everyone play Rush Jules. Add me. I put my yeah. friend code in there. I won't. Is it <laughs> so? I'm is already it, in some weird discord. Is it not true that. that you are? So is it true that the game is easier the more friends you have? Because yeah. it's not about the journey; it's about the friends you made along the way. Yeah. Oh, for God's sake! That's probably you know. You, I'm sure you're saying that facetiously as possible. But I'm sure that's their goal. Oh no! I was, <laughs> no, I was like, I'm being dead, dead ass serious. <laughs> yeah, that's. I was like, no, that, that's definitely what they're going for here. This is just trade cables in 2023. Yes. Oh, you can play it on your own, but it's a fuck ton easier if you have friends. Yes. No, Pogo's making me delete friends. If you delete me again, I swear to Christ. <laughs> nah, never again. I need a shiny Absol. But anyway, um, <laughs> that does conclude us for today. Thank you all very much for listening and watching. Uh, as I said, feel free to jump into our Discord, ask us some questions for next week. Uh, favorite us on your streaming services, like and subscribe on YouTube, and we will catch you all next week. Peace. Yeah. Bye.